Hello everybody, this is Stringer back to kick off round one for group E of my tournament. Ooh, we're getting, we're definitely getting into it now. This is this is the fourth tournament video I've recorded today, mind you. I've recorded group B, group C, and group D, and this is gonna be the last one I record the day. So anyway, enough about that. On to our matchups in this video, and we will see Slifer Sky Dragon X taking on Xeno Slick Goku, Shin Dominus going up against Dino Smash, and Alpha Trooper taking on Jeremy Blue Scott. I'm really intrigued to see how Jeremy Blue Scott's going to do in this tournament because he has a full win team and I'm really int intrigued to see how he will fare. So, yep, let's get, let's get on with this match. Let's get on with our first matchup, which is Cypher Sky Dragon X going up against Xeno. Alrighty then, as for Cypher Sky Dragon X, his first dino in the red corner, we have a Super Youth Centrosaurus. And <laughs> I hope I can record this video before I lose my voice completely. I can tell I'm losing it already. Okay, the Awaken Mode on four. Alright, as for Xeno in the blue corner, however, we have a Pentaceratops. Again, quite the popular dinosaur in my tournament, as I've said before. This one's the lethal type one. Gatlin Spark will definitely do some damage. And, I, no, Xeno doesn't have any super diamonds to, for me to worry about. Ooh, ooh, that's a tie. There's the plasma anchor. There goes part of my voice. <laughs> oh, I gotta put my fan on. There, that's better. Well, there's the plasma anchor. Good start from Slifer there. Oh, there's the glitchy sound. <laughs> that tells me I need to stop, but I don't want to stop. I want to keep recording, but <laughs> I'm not gonna have to stop after this one. My, as I said, my voice is going. Alright, the Pentaceratops striking back with a hit. Ooh, Counter Blitz getting triggered though. Okay, that's twice. Ooh, won't need the Counter Blitz though because the Eucentrosaurus just gets off the hit anyway. Right, that's three times. Next round will be Awakening time. Ooh, that's a tie. No Plasma Anchor this time. Ooh, a crit coming from the Eucentrosaurus, though. Pentaceratops gone, and Slifer Sky Dragon X has the lead. But, coming in next for Xeno, we have a Karanosaurus. This Karanosaurus is Hunter type, so it gets an it'll get an immediate power boost because it has more HP left than the Eucentrosaurus, which makes it interesting. Like having it in second as like a as like a pickup dinosaur, if you get what I mean. Like, one that can get you back into matches. Tyrannosaurus could be really good at doing that. Especially when you have it in... Especially having it in second. But this Eucentrosaurus is looking mightily impressive so far. Emerald Garden getting triggered there. As it's awakening time. Elemental Fusion! Oh, it's Emerald Garden! The Awaken Mode is wasted. Emerald Garden coming in here to drain you Centrosaurus's HP away and give Piranosaurus some HP back. But it doesn't kill the Centrosaurus, so but a chance wasted there from Slifer to get some work to land some major damage and yet Oh it's a Lillian cure, so Piranosaurus is gonna get all of its HP back. So after all that, everything said and done, we're pretty much level packing. Okay, as for Slifer's second I know we have Gaius with the Spectral Armor. This is the beast of... This is the MVP, I feel, for the team. And I, I'm intrigued that they got it in second. I feel like putting it in second is quite a good one, because it, it can... When a dinosaur is in second, it has more... It's more likely that it will take on... The diet it will take it can take on everything to a degree. It's more likely they can take on everything. It'll take on the dinosaur coming in first if you're losing. The dinosaur coming in third if you're winning. And your first dino goes down or something. You know what I mean? Ooh. I think this is fire cannon, isn't it? Yeah. Well it can't be magma blaster, because that'll be net. Big damage coming Coronosaurus's way. Do do. Ooh, but the Coronosaurus responding back and getting off the Lillian Cure as well. Oh, a 
another hit from the Karanosaurus. Okay, no Lillian Cure this time. I feel like it's maxed out. Ooh, but Geiger's getting off the hit there. Not much damage done, however, but and the Emerald Garden getting triggered. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, I think that's Karanosaurus dead. Cypher Sky Dragon X has taken the lead. Well, they had a slight lead, but they're going to extend that lead. However, I feel like the MVP for Team Xeno, we have the Sorofagonax. This Sorofagonax is capable of winning for Xeno here. It does pack the power, it does have the attack, and it has recovery as well. And although I'm not so sure if recovery is going to be that useful on it, but we'll just have to see. Ooh, a big hit from the Sorofagonax there. Oh, that's a tie! Oh, the, spec the, the Spectral Armor would have been activated, but Geigers couldn't survive the tie. Skip. <laughs> oh, that could be... How crucial could that be? Well, we'll find out how crucial I'll be now. Alright, as for Slifer's third dino, we have Paris. Or... Ba -da -ba -da! And we're, we're quite level packing, actually. The Soul Fagonax didn't take any damage... Actually, yes, it did. It took tie damage. But yeah, we're pretty much level pecking. Who has enough few? Which one of these guys' third dinos will win it for them? Okay, let's see if Slifer Sky Dragon X would have got the uh, Spectral Lancer off. Okay, he wouldn't have got the Spectral Lancer off yet, but the Soul Falcon X getting off a big firebomb. And actually, no, it wouldn't have got off Spectral Lancer because the firebomb would have killed Geiger. Oh my god, look at that! Well, Zeno's just guaranteed himself points in this matchup. And has just guaranteed himself the win. So Fagonax making quick work of Paris with two well timed firebombs. So, despite a good start from Slifer Sky Dragon X, Zeno coming back into it to get the opening round win. And I think, yes, yeah, Slifer Sky Dragon X is the first. Com first combatant of this tournament who finished in the top eight last time to lose it to lose it opening match because ultimate dino queen king won queen ultimate dino queen won lousp won and Ghidorah won but slifer sky dragon x couldn't join them in the winning department but that's definitely a good win for xeno and could it open up group e an already open group we'll just have to see but anyway on to our next matchup which sees Shin Dominus going up against Dino Smash. Alrighty then, as for Shin, in the red corner for Shin Dominus, our newest, one of our newest combatants in this tournament, we have Tijongasaurus. Shin Dominus has definitely gone for attack-minded movesets here. Although not so much with the Tijongasaurus, but definitely with his other two dinosaurs. But yes, Shin Dominus could be one to watch in this tournament. One I picked out that I thought would do well out of the newcomers. But... In the blue corner for Dino Smash, we have Carcurodontosaurus. This Carcurodontosaurus is also the more of the attacking variety. So yes, this we could be in for quite a fast match. Well, a fast haste match. And if one of these two can get early ascendancy, it could set them up nicely to win. Ooh, Tajonosaurus getting off the first hit. Not as much damage dealt though, because as I'm sure you know by now, Tajongasaurus' power, it's all in the crit. Speaking of crits, here comes the stun dash. Although I will point out this Tajongasaurus is not lethal type. It's um, strength type. So it's still going to do a decent amount of damage here. Good start from Shin Dominus so far. And well, Shin Dominus has just taken a 1-0 lead, and as, as I said, if any of our combatants can get a quick start here, it could set them up nicely to win the whole matchup. And it looks like Shin Dominus has got that quick start. And 
you'll have a type advantage over this Pentaceratops. Dino Smash in a bit of a pickle here. This Pentaceratops also the attacking type. And it does pack a lot of power in its crit because it's lethal type. <laughs> oh, I gotta make sure I don't run out of water. Ooh, Pentaceratops getting a much needed hit there on the Tijongasaurus. Elemental power there, which will help. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, another hit coming from Pentaceratops. And it's the lightning strike. Dino Smash fighting his way back into this match. Look at that, still a decent amount of damage despite the type disadvantage. Elemental power proving its worth. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, this lightning strike will take out the Tajanosaurus and even the score. The Pentaceratops did take some damage, however, but not too much. So Dino Smash getting back in the match. And he's going to need those elemental power buffs because as for Shindominus' second Dino, we have a Sorrow Faganax. And um, well, that says it all really, doesn't it? Just look look at the power level. It's over 9, it's over 3,000! <laughs> uh, even Omega Yokakaria is not over 9,000. Ooh, that's a tie. Burning Dash getting triggered. Burning Dash not be activated. Another tie. Not much to separate these two so far. Ooh, but this Gatling Spark might just do that. This is going to deal big damage to the Sorrow Fragonax and with the Elemental Power buff, might be lethal. Oh my god! Well, 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 look at this all of a sudden. Shin Dominus in a bit of a pickle. I said this would be a quick match, didn't I? This Brontokins will be at a tight disadvantage against our Pentaceratops as well. And yes, like like his Sorofagonax, this Brontokins is much more the attacking variety. Although not surpassing 3000 like Sorofagonax did. But it's Brontokins, they don't need it. But this Pentaceratops is looking unstoppable. Oh, another a lightning strike, and with the elemental power buff, this is going to deal a decent amount of damage. Dino Smash on course for a bonus point win. Look at this. Pentaceratops cleaning house. Oh, that's a tie. Another tie. And another tie, which finishes off the Brontokins and gives Dino Smash, I would probably say, a well-deserved bonus point win. As for Shin Dominus, just could not get those attacks going at all. And they will open their campaign with a defeat. But as for Dino Smash, a bonus point win. Which is not what I was expecting, to be honest. I thought Shin Dominus would win this match, but, you know. This is tournament, isn't it? Anything can happen. Right, let's move on to our final match of this session, which sees Alpha Trooper taking on Jeremy Blue Scott. <coughs> well, I'm looking forward to this matchup, to be honest. Okay, in the red corner for Alpha Trooper, we have an Alpha Iguanodon. Yes, I feel like this could be a big game in this group, like, and you're gonna see why in a minute. Oh my god, the Alpha Iguanodon has a like glowy green eyes. It's like a, it's, it's like a zombie. <laughs> okay, in the blue corner for Jeremy Blue Scott, we have a Eustreptospondylus. Jeremy Blue Scott, the one person in this whole tournament to have a team full of the same element, and that element being win. And this is why, oh wow, 2350 power, really impressive actually. And yeah, this is why I feel like this is such a massive game for Jeremy. 
because this is the one match in the group where he actually has a favourable chance of winning because of this this match up here. And well, that's the worst possible start, isn't it? A big for assault. Like, I think all the other combatants in this group have a fire dinosaur. So I feel like this is... This has to be a game for me. He has to win. And look at that damage. Ooh, getting off a hurricane beat. Both of our combatants have got crit so far. Although, the strip the Spondylus is crit is going to do more damage because it is, as I said, the type of advantage. Kicking the Iguanodon in the mouth. Yeah, look at that. Not much extra damage, but extra damage. And the Mayfly's been triggered too. Oh, but I think you strip the Spondylus is dead. Big for assault coming from the Iguanodon. Alpha Treat are faring pretty well so far in this matchup, despite having the disadvantage here. Yeah, I should point out that Alpha Trooper does have his secret dinosaur, which theoretically has the type advantage over, well, anything it faces unless it's a secret dinosaur. Alright, as for Jeremy's second dino, we have an Aloatrox. This Aloatrox is definitely the attacking variety, and is going to need it to pull its weight here if Jeremy Bruce Scott's going to get any points in this match. Oh, there's a tie. Ooh. Hit from the Atrox. This should kill the Iguanodon. Yeah. Only just, though. Only just. Because Aloe Atrox does have weaker moves because its crit is so strong. Okay, as for Alpha Trooper's second dino, we have a Super Baryonyx. The Awaken Mode on 2. This Baryonyx. Well. From personal experience, I know exactly what it's capable of. Jeremy will have to watch its watch its six here facing this beast. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, the Atrox getting off another hit. That's once. Ooh, but it's a big crit from the Baryonyx. That's an Aqua Whip. Boosh. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, and a Shockwave as well. Alpha Trooper turning the screw because he's going to have the Awaken mode as well. So, yeah. Aloatrox, I think, is dead. No matter what, I think Aloatrox is dead. Okay, so Barry will be going rock. Oh, the Baryonyx. Well, let's be honest, there's always going to get some form of damage off. Alpha Trooper has the lead. Okay, as for Jeremy's third dino, we have the Ceratosaurus. The Super Ceratosaurus with the Awaken Mode on one. And I think he's going to need that Awaken Mode if he wants to win this matchup. Because Alpha Trooper has an impressive lead. Although, this Barry's HP will be halved. Oh, it's a tie. Ties will suit Alpha Trooper down to the ground. Okay, the Ceratosaurus getting off that crucial hit. Finishing off the barrier and evening the score. Alright then, as for Alpha Trooper's third dino, we have a Megalosaurus. Wow, I feel like this has been a really quick match. This Megalosaurus. Well, it's not to be trifled with and it does have the attack boost as well, so it will pack a punch. And I feel like it's going to be a really good comeback dino for Alpha Trooper if he if he's ever, if he loses if he's losing in a match. But so far he does have the slight lead. Well, it's quite even to be fair. Ooh, that's a tie. Wow, this Megalosaurus took a lot of damage there. Another tie. So I'd say ties actually favour the Serato. Another tie. Another tie. <laughs> oh, what we wouldn't give to have Sonic Blast right now. Oh, the, the, the Ceratosaurus. Yeah, Ceratosaurus is dead. This Megalosaurus is Reform type and it's... Yeah, it's dead. But I think I'm going to have to double check 
which I will when I edit the video. I think Jeremy Blue Scott has secured a losing bonus point, so you never know how crucial that could be. But it is Alpha Trooper's win. And a good win for Alpha Trooper there. Good start. The Megalosaurus finishing it off. And we didn't actually get to see the Awakamo from the Serato, which I'm hugely surprised at. Right. Finally, I can rest my voice. Well, I can rest my voice after, I have a, after we have a look at the table. Yeah, Group D. Definite, I feel like Group E has, might have opened up a bit more here. With, with um, especially with Slifer Sky Dragon X losing the, their opening match, and Shin Dominus, I didn't think these two would lose their opening matches, but they have. And well, I, I fancy Jeremy Blue Scott to get a result against Alpha Trooper, but they'll just have to settle for the losing bonus point, which again, you know, could always be crucial. Going forward, but yeah, good win, good wins for these three guys. Dino Smash topping Group E after an, the impressive win over Shin Dominus. And then Alpha Trooper and Xeno on three points getting w opening their campaigns with wins. So, yeah. Uh, let's see who's playing each other next. Oh, look at this. This could be a big clash at the top. Dino Smash taking on Alpha Trooper first. And then we will have Slifer Sky Dragon X going up against Jeremy Blue Scott. And finally, we'll have Xeno Slick Goku against Shin Dominus. So, yeah. Group E definitely opening up like, to be a very, very competitive group. And I, it wouldn't be a surprise if one of the fourth place teams that go through is in Group B. So, yep, I hope you enjoyed. And <laughs> I need a rest. My voice needs a rest. So I'm probably off to play Among Us for a bit and to post today's video. So, yeah, if you did, please, if you did enjoy, please leave a like and stay tuned for next time where we will kick off round one for Group F. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.